Internet is a contentious issue in the Falkland Islands. It might be considered one of the main drawbacks of living here. Internet speed is slower than the global average, data is limited, and many say it's also unreliable. But why is this the case, and what can be done to improve the service? Well, Shaw is the provider of all internet and telecommunications in the Falklands, and in the vast majority of other British overseas territories. In other words, they have a monopoly over all telecoms, and for that reason the government is responsible for monitoring their operations. So we work closely with the regulator who, I guess, although employed by the government, is independent from the government, and they're really there to sort of make sure that we're delivering goods and services that are you know, fit for purpose and of a suitable quality and that we don't have excessive numbers of faults or complaints. Uh, so their job isn't so much to manage what we do day to day, but is to just uh, make sure that we're meeting all the, all the terms that were laid out in our exclusive licence. While Shaw has increased the size of data packages and reduced costs with government assistance since 2020, concerns have been raised that they are not providing enough public data to prove that further work is being done to improve the service. The, the thing that needs monitoring for me is, is, is the service being delivered and what quality of service is being delivered. What I want to see is quantitative data that tells me that the people there are doing a, an improving job. They're doing, they're doing a better job. They, um, they're delivering better services. Um, but I'm not seeing that. I, 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 can't, I can't measure the, the quantitative data because it's not there. It's simply not there. For this reason, the Attorney General and Acting Regulator of the Falcons has commissioned a series of data probes that will monitor telecom services, including broadband and landline operations. These look to confirm that Shaw is able to consistently provide the same service, including speed and data allowances in every part of the islands, as well as making sure that any outages are being fixed quickly by the operator. Data from these probes will then be released at the start of April, at which point the regulator can then assess whether targets are being met. The data that they are designed to collect is, is some information that we've obviously been uh, looking at ways to, to try and collect uh, really since the start of the licence and that's involved conversations with uh, Shure and with some external consultants and in the end we settled on, on these probes as the, as the way to do that and so jointly then procured them with Shure. Now obviously having taken the decision to procure them there's a bit of a lead in time to A, getting them here to the Falkland Islands uh, and then getting them installed, getting them working and getting the data flowing. And I'm, I'm pleased that that now is, is happening. Shaw has in the past fairly consistently met government targets, but has also consistently received very poor customer feedback. In 2021, on every measure, customers rated Shaw's broadband services as poor, with satisfaction levels dropping by 10% from 2018. Price is also a major cause for complaint. While the average price of a monthly broadband subscription in the UK is around £30, the medium broadband package in the Falklands costs more than double that at £82, with a data limit of 41 gigabytes. However, some of this can be explained by the difficulty of providing fast, reliable internet to such a remote corner of the world. For the foreseeable future, we're going to be a satellite of served territory. Uh, the drawback of this is that the total available bandwidth over a satellite link is always going to be constrained uh, because satellites are expensive to put into orbit, uh, they're obviously complex systems that, and they only have quite a relatively short lifespan compared with cable systems. The government, however, have said they are working with Shaw to try to improve the broadband link and are confident in the quality of data received from the probes. The probes will deliver accurate information. Presently, Shaw uh, have put out a tender. This is for the link, the broadband link to the UK. Hopefully in the coming months we will have some proposals that put forward that uh, should uh, improve broadband, uh, certainly the, the amount of broadband that people get and the packages that people are able to access uh, for the future. So that's the idea of it and uh, we uh, would hope to see some good results coming from that. And I should, should think they will be in a position to let people know in the next couple of months uh, what the result of uh, those tenders has been. We're still in the middle of a commercial process and we've got three different companies that offered slightly different technical solutions. So um, we're, we're just working through the assessment of those and then speaking to FYG about whether they're willing to continue subsidising internet services here, you know, whether they're willing to do less, do more, or just maintain the status quo from the last few years. And that, um, I can't really say much more than that at the moment, because clearly there's lots of commercial sensitivity around that uh, until we've got an agreement with both the providers that the provide the satellite connectivity and also FIG in terms of what they're willing to commit going forward. 
Probes will be released and measured from this point onwards on a quarterly basis, so that means that Shaw can collect data from multiple points in the year. But we might ask why it's taken so long for Shaw to send out these data probes in the first place, when Shaw was granted an operating license in the Falklands almost five years ago in 2017. Regardless, the data from these probes will undoubtedly give a clearer picture of Shaw's service, at which point further action can be taken.